Hello everyone and welcome to our new lesson, how to draw a sentence tree structure. Let's say we have this sentence, the sixth child in the corner needs a doctor, and we want to draw a tree structure for it. What's the first thing that we have to do? Is to bring a blank page and write the sentence at the bottom of that. So we wrote the sentence down here, so we can draw the tree right above it. The next step is to write the category of each word in the sentence. I'm going to draw lines above each word so I can write each category. All right, now we'll take them one by one. Here we have the, that is a determiner, and it's an article. We can write article, E-R-T, as an abbreviation, and determiner, D-E-T. You can just write determinant if you like, but to be more specific, it's an article. Okay, sick is an adjective, so we write A, D, J as an abbreviation. Child is a noun, so we write N. In is a preposition, P, the is another article. A determiner you can write just determiner D E T corner is a noun to so write N needs the verb V and a is an article also like that you can write determiner instead of writing article and determiner And doctor is another noun. Okay, we're done with this step. The next step we're gonna do is look for the nouns. Here we have how many nouns? We have one, two, three nouns. Okay, so I'm going to circle them. You don't have to circle them, I just did this to make things obvious. What are we gonna do with these nouns? The nouns help me to know the noun phrases, okay? Each noun belongs to a noun phrase. So, we're going to take this noun, the first noun, and its pre-modifiers, and put them together, put them together in a noun phrase. Noun, the adjective, and the determiner together give me a noun phrase. Over here we have the other noun, it also needs a noun phrase. Here, before it we have a determiner and a preposition. The preposition before a noun is not considered a part of a noun phrase. Because it's coming before it, it doesn't modify it in any ways. What modifies corner here is the determinant, the. So we'll take the determiner and the noun and put them together in a noun phrase. N P. The other noun, the last noun, doctor, have a determiner before it and a verb. The verb cannot be a part of a noun phrase. Again, the noun phrase is the noun and the pre modifiers, and if there are any post modifiers, we can put them with the noun phrase. Okay? So we'll just put the determiner and the noun. In the noun phrase. Okay, this step is done. We finished this step of putting the noun phrases for each noun. Now we have the preposition sitting alone, the verb sitting alone. What does the preposition belong to? What kind of phrase starts with a preposition? A prepositional phrase. Okay, so the prepositional phrase. Start with a preposition and the noun phrase that comes after the preposition. So the preposition along with the noun phrase before it make up the uh, sorry after it make up the prepositional phrase. Okay now how about the verb? What does it belong to? The verb belongs to 
the verb phrase. How do we make the verb phrase? The verb phrase is composed of the verb and the noun phrase coming after it. Everything after the verb is a part of the verb phrase. But there is something missing here. The verb and the noun phrase are not the only parts of the verb phrase. A verb phrase must have an auxiliary. Auxiliary, we write A, U, X. Since there aren't any obvious auxiliaries here, we will add here the tense. There is no sentence that can be correct without a tense. You have to put a tense. T E N S E. Okay, what's the tense of needs? It's a present tense, so we can write here, present Okay. So the verb phrase is complete with the auxiliary, the verb, and the noun phrase. Don't worry if everything is messed up, we're going, this is just a draft, and we're going to write a clean, clean version here but let's finish here okay now a sentence is composed of two parts the verb phrase and the noun phrase the noun phrase and the prepositional phrase here together they come before the verb you have to take care where the verb is and everything before the verb the main verb, of course, everything be before the verb is the noun phrase. So, here, everything here is a noun phrase. Everything after the verb is the verb phrase. This is just for explanation. You'll not have to write this when drawing the tree. So, the noun phrase and the prepositional phrase give me the, the main noun phrase. Now that we have the main noun phrase and the verb phrase, together they give me the sentence S. Okay, now we can't leave our tree messed up like that. So what we're gonna do is write a clean version of it. I want you to take care of a point. The right thing to do or obviously not the only right thing to do is to write from the beginning s then the noun phrase and then the verb phrase then start putting branches but the easy way is to start from bottom up start from each category of each word what i'm gonna do now is write a sentence again so we can do uh, we can draw a cleaner tree. We start from up to down now after of course doing the whole thing here. So start sentence then the next level right under it we have the noun phrase and the verb phrase they have to be beside each other not like we drew here. So noun phrase and beside it is a verb phrase Okay, I'm gonna draw it branches. Out of the sentence we have the noun phrase and the verb phrase. I want you to take care of a point. Over here we have a noun phrase and under it a noun phrase and a prepositional phrase. That's not what we're going to write here. Because we already have a noun phrase, we don't have to write under it another noun phrase because the main branch is a noun phrase so I'm just going to write the determiner adjective noun and preposition phrase next to each other see determiner adjective noun and preposition phrase now for the verb phrase we have what right on the next level for the verb phrase we have the auxiliary we have the verb we have the noun phrase so let's put them here now we have to draw the sub branches the determiner we have 
an article for uh, sub branches of the prepositional phrase we have the noun phrase and the preposition for the sub branches of the noun phrase here we have the determiner and the noun so we'll go for the next branches we wrote the next branches notice here how the adjective and the noun and the auxiliary and the verb don't have any branches under them yet because they are linked directly to the sentence we have here other branches that must come under the noun phrase the noun phrase here in the prepositional phrase has a determiner and a noun so we have to make other branches for it now let's check if we wrote all everything under the branches we have here this branch we did everything the noun phrase we did only one noun phrase instead of two noun, noun phrases after each other the adjective done the noun done preposition phrase noun phrase um preposition done noun phrase under it we have the terminal and the noun here they are done the verb phrase we have the auxiliary oh under the auxiliary we have the tense before present so we have to add this branch we forgot it and we have the verb done we have the noun phrase with the term and the noun done so only have to add the tense for the auxiliary now that we have all the categories written we can draw lines so we can write our sentence from the last branch from the adjective from the noun the preposition determiner noun tense don't forget any branches here verb determiner and noun now we can write our sentence okay the article the just take another okay here the article the the adjective sick noun child sorry for that preposition in determiner the corner noun tense present notice how this the word present was not there in the beginning we added it because we have to add an auxiliary now the verb here needs have an s you can write it with an s or or without an s as you like all right present as like that needs or without an s both both are correct because you already wrote its present the determinant a and the noun doctor let's just take this a bit wider So here it is, the tree diagram of this single sentence. Thanks a lot for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. English cake, language is just a piece of cake. Thank you.